Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to Oki Outdoor Adventures. Today, we're replacing the factory trailer straps, boat straps, transom straps, whatever you want to call them. These things, garbage. Get them out of here. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that I will post the link below for what I'm replacing this, them with. I am going with the boat buckles. Uh, they come highly recommended from just about everybody I've talked to, so I'll put a link below where I got mine. Also, I wanted to share with you very quickly that I appreciate the support. Over the last couple of weeks, we finally broke that thousand subscriber mark. You guys are absolutely awesome. Can't wait to keep pumping out content for you guys, so just, just wanted to say a quick thanks. Before we jump in, let's talk about the tools that we're going to need for the job. First, a heavy hammer. You're going to have to do some modifications to your trailer if your boat's anything like mine. On the tracker trailer, the eyelets for the, uh, the mounts or the buckles need to be bent out to allow the boat buckle to fit. At the angle that they're currently at, it bumps up against the light. You can't get the buckles to fit, so you need to bump those out. Guys have talked about heating those up and pulling them out with uh, like a pipe wrench or some type of crescent wrench to do it. I just went with a hammer. Maybe use a mallet, something soft, and make sure that you don't hit your brake lights. That, that could be bad, Let, let's be honest. Next up on the list, you're going to need a 5 8 wrench. You can dodge a wrench, maybe you can catch some fish. Next up, you're gonna need a socket wrench with a 5 8 deep socket. Make sure it's a deep socket. The boat, or the buckle, the, bleh, the bolt for the belt buckle, the belt buckle, boat buckle. The bolts for the boat buckle are deep so if you're using a shallow socket once you get them cranked down you're not going to be able to uh, reach the nut with your socket unless you're using a deep socket so finally don't over to over torque your bolts english is my first language i don't know why i'm struggling so much don't over torque your bolts the manual recommends 40 to 45 pounds of torque I didn't have a torque wrench, so uh, using that good old Oki Ingenuity, I estimated around 42 and a half pounds of torque. That's just based off experience. I'm going to get a torque wrench and make sure they're good. All right, let's jump into the video. I'm going to set the cameras down low. It's probably going to be hard to see some of this, and I'm not going to deafen you with the banging on uh, the trailer. So I'll probably uh, kill the audio on that part. Let's just talk through how I did the rest of the install. Total time to install for both buckles on both sides of the trailer should take you no more than 10 minutes. So let's get into the video before I get struck by lightning and uh, yeah, so let's go. Okay guys, we've got all the tools we need. We've got our hammer, got our bolts and the bolt buckle, which you'll see here. And then we're gonna take the old strap off and start getting this stuff replaced. Now, part of the reason that I wanted to do this, you'll notice in these straps, everything is bent in here. Let's try and get you to focus, come on. Everything's bent in here, so I have no adjustability on the straps right now. And, uh, it's, well, frankly, they're, they're falling apart. So, we're gonna get this bent out. Again, make sure that you're not hitting your plate, uh, your light plate, and just you don't have to tap hard it's not super hard metal so so I'm gonna edit out a lot of that banging just for your ears but we'll try and get this mounted up we may need to go out just a little bit more maybe no I actually think that's pretty good so now we'll get our bolts prepared or our bolt rather washer between get that to release everything lifts up slip your washer between your two release pedals okay so now we're ready to get the buckle on We've got the bolt through the mounting hole in the bolt buckle. We've got our top washer on. We're going to go ahead and get this lined up. And then we're going to put our back washer on. And we're going to start threading our bolt. Now, what I would recommend doing 
is set your release and connect your buckle to your transom loop. So you can kind of get a feel for the angle that you need to make sure that your strap is not bound or pinched. So you can see it's kind of at, it's not really an awkward angle necessarily, but it's not what you would consider necessarily flush. Now we're gonna put our wrench on the interior bolt, maybe. If I could do this uh, semi-blind. And then we're going to take our deep 5.8 socket and just start cranking this down. Make sure the bolt is. There we go. And once we start to get some tension on it, we're going to back off, make sure that we still got a good angle. starting to get some good tension let's pop that off and we're gonna we're gonna tilt that very slightly you don't want a lot of bend again you don't want you don't want this compromised otherwise you're not going to get a good seat in your boat buckle so again this is going to be entirely dependent on the type of trailer that you have on these tracker trailers that eyelet is is really at kind of an awkward angle so I think that's pretty good there let's get the wrench back on and get it torqued down a little bit Again, don't over torque. If you've got a torque wrench, I would recommend using it. Set it to that 40 to 45 pounds that the manual instructs. But we've got a good, we got a good seat there. So now we're gonna ratchet her down a little bit. A couple of clicks. And boom, that's it guys. That is it.